Airport headed to Seattle today for our Alaskan cruise. Now stepping foot in Alaska in Ketchikan. Here in the Tongass National Forest. And now Robert used to be a gold mine called Alaska. AJ. We're going whale watching. Whale watching. We will see some humpbacks today, and these guys get big. I don't know if you can hear us, but we are on a boat going whale watching. Yeah, it's to the left of the big boat. So we made it to the bus. This time it's a green bus, not a blue bus. Yeah. Now we're, we're going, going whale watching. Whale watching. And it's all underneath still M&M tours. But uh, they end up giving us a really good deal to add on while watching. And luckily, he agreed to it. You know how he is. What am I? You mean kind, generous, thoughtful? You just want to do your own thing and not pay for a tour. But... <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> we're actually going to go see whales. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go see whales. And then after that, we're going in the, what is that thing? The tramway. The Robert's tram? Robert's tramway. And then if it's open. And then after that, we have to go back to the ship because we have the North Star, which is a 300 and, what is it, 360 view. Yeah, and four o'clock, so we have a full day today. <laughs> a few moments later. We're always looking, however, they are pretty rare to see here. I've been here since April. I've only seen them about 10 times total. Um, do they make any sound? What's that? Do they make any sound when they swim? Or? Um, no, but we look for spouts, and then their fins stick up out of the water oh. pretty tall. Um, but I do promise we will see some humpbacks today, and these guys get big. They're huge. Hmm. Um, so they can grow up to 60 feet in length, and they can weigh up to 40 tons. So to put that into perspective, it's about the size of a full-length bowling alley lane, and then six African elephants. Oh, wow. um, this boat is about 52 feet, so it can get even bigger than this boat. Um, they're big. Um, all of our humpbacks here are Hawaiian. They're born in Hawaii. They come up here to feed every spring and summer, and then they go back down to Hawaii in the fall and winter. That's where they're going to breed and give birth. Um, so the whole time they're traveling to Hawaii, while they're in Hawaii and traveling back, they don't eat at all. Um, so by the time they get back up here, they've lost about a third of their body weight, and they show up and they're pretty hangry. Um, these guys will feed for 20 hours every single day. Um, each and every one of them eat over 3,000 pounds of fish every single day. Um, so they're trying to build up their blubber reserve so they can make it back down to Hawaii and back up again in about springtime. Um, so a couple things to expect while we're whale watching today. Humpbacks are mammals like us. They breathe air like we do. So when they come up to the surface to take a big deep breath of air, they're going to emit this big, huge plume of mist through their blowholes. Um, that air exits them around 200 to 300 miles per hour. So on a clear day, these spouts, you can see them from pretty far away. They'll go over 20 feet in the air. So when they come up to breathe, they usually take anywhere between 2 and 10 breaths before they dive back down to get more food. Um, on their last breath, that's when they're going to hump their backs, and then if we're lucky, we'll get a tail fling out of the air. Um, that's usually your best opportunity for a cool photo. So when they dive back down to get more food, they usually stay under the water anywhere from five to 10 minutes before they pop back up. And they could pop up anywhere. A mile away, right next to the boat, we never really know. So in that in-between time when we're whale waiting, that instead of whale watching, that's the time to just kind of keep your eyes open, shout it out if you see it so we can try to get you a closer look. Yeah. Stephanie, you said if you see you get closer, so if we see a spout alert you, you'll literally take the boat closer to the spout area? We, yes, unless like I'll, I'll alert the captain. Um, chances are they probably have seen the spout already, um, and there's some times where we will pass a whale if they have that cool info that we are chasing, you know. Um, but as far as today, this is my first trip today, so we're just kind of going out there and finding some whales. Um, another way we find whales out here is other whale watching boats. It's usually a very good clue, so <laughs> um, keep an eye out for those too. But yeah, we usually don't have to go too far. I was just wondering, will we be in the ocean out there? Yeah, so we're in the ocean right now. The Atlantic. North Pacific, North Pacific Ocean, um, currently in Auk Bay, and then we'll be kind of going through some of the channels in between the islands. That's where they like to, that's where all the food kind of gathers.
these guys are pretty elusive, but they should be back up here any minute. But they literally could be anywhere, so shout it out if you see it. They were heading this way. They usually kind of stay on the trajectory that you see them go, so. There we go. 10 o'clock. Yep, it's pretty far. About 10 o'clock, almost in line with that big boat out there. Talk about dealing with the spout. Oh, the spout? Yeah. Just to the left of the boat? Yeah, yeah, to the left of the big boat. <laughs> there he is! Oh!
what are your thoughts? We just got out of the boat and got done whale watching. It's good. It's cold. <laughs> Do you remember? Just it's make cold. sure. Oh, hold on.